here's the periodic table and we know that elements in the periodic table are pure substances. This is when you classify matter, breaking it down in, at the first level to substances or mixtures. So this is showing all 118 elements. And this also shows the organization, which we'll get into how the periodic table is organized. Why is it this funny shape? Um, but this is also showing the element names and the element symbols. The molecular views. So when um, picturing elements and compounds, remember those are too small scale to see, so we cannot see these. So we have what uh, these idealized molecular views like on the right. This is showing uh, two, a red atom and a blue atom kind of smooshed together, red atom, blue atom kind of smooshed together. Um, this is the atoms are given colors. And so typically, the, so atoms don't have colors, but to have the molecular view, they're shown as colors. So any one color is going to be one type of atom, which is one element. So this uh, red and blue would be two different types of atoms or two different elements, okay? So for pure substances, remember we can't see these and we have elements, an individual um, element on the periodic table can either be atoms, we can represent these as individual atoms, like these. So these are this uh, purplish color and this is all one color. So this means that all of these are individual atoms and they are all the same element. This compares to uh, a few or a handful of elements on the periodic table actually are not uh, naturally present as individual atoms, but they are diatomic. They are two atoms bonded together. And it's a single element still because it's still one color. So this is on the left here, two white atoms. Uh, hydrogen is typically shown as white. So this would be the diatomic two hydrogen uh, that's H2. So hydrogen is present in nature as the diatomic molecule H2. So it's called a molecular element because it's one element and when you have atoms smushed together it's called a molecule so this is a molecule and this is also these are also called molecules when the atoms are smushed together whether they're the same atoms these diatomic or they're different atoms smushed together it's called a molecule when they're smushed together so this blue these two blue atoms that are smushed together um, nitrogen is typically shown as blue so this would be n2 and nitrogen is uh, a molecular element as well Oxygen is given the red color, so these red atoms, and these are also red atoms. Um, this, these two red atoms are two oxygen atoms bonded together, so that would be O2, and this is O2, oxygen gas in the atmosphere that's important for us to breathe, um, and we'll be doing a lab for oxygen gas coming up. But this is O2. This is a diatomic molecule because there's two oxygen atoms and it's also a molecular element because it is an element on the periodic table that exists as molecules. So those are two atoms smushed together when you have molecules. Uh, over here we have a compound. So compound, there's two things that can be described by this box. It's a compound and also there are molecules in here. Uh, it's a compound because there are two different atoms, two different colors, two different elements. Okay, it's a molecule because they're smooshed together. So this is in opposition to having individual um, individual circles. So compounds are when you have two or more types of atoms bonded together. And then molecules are when those atoms are bonded together and it has this view where they're smooshed together. Um, and this is due to the fact that the atoms are sharing electrons and so they no longer have their individual boundaries anymore. So this is not a full circle represented here compared to these full circles, but um, part of this is smooshed into this red circle. So this is uh, called a molecule. Atoms uh, form compounds in a chemical reaction. When atoms are bonded together, this is showing two carbon atoms. Carbon is typically shown as black. These two carbon atoms uh, will react with this oxygen molecule. So remember molecules are smushed together. This is a diatomic molecule. Uh, there are two oxygen atoms. Oxygen is shown as red. And it's also a oxygen is also a molecular element because it exists in nature naturally as O2, not just individual oxygens. So this oxygen molecule breaks apart 
you have two individual oxygen atoms at that point, and those two individual oxygen atoms bond to those individual carbon atoms, and what you have on this side of the arrow is something new. So this is a product that didn't exist before. On the left side of the arrow, you have reactants, and that's the hallmark of a chemical reaction. When you have reactants change, the bonds are broken, new bonds are formed. So we'll be working on this worksheet during the lecture time. So you might be able to do this on your own, but if you can't, then join us in lecture 